Hello fellow South Floridians, it's me, Demetrius Villa from the High Speed Rail America Club with a very important message. Folks, last year we came up with an idea called the Miami Maglev to connect Florida International University, the Dolphin Mall, Miami International Airport, Marlins Park, downtown Miami, the port, and also Miami Beach. To connect them all together with a 21st century advanced technology in collaboration with American Maglev technology. We were also featured in Rise Miami, the Miami New Times, and also the Miami Herald. And with that, we were able to hold the Miami Maglev Forum hosted at FIU, the first of its kind anywhere else, to bring in input from the community and also from community leaders as well, including commissioners and mayors. Unfortunately, at that meeting, there was a lot of students there, which was good. That means, it means there are a lot of students and millennials that are you know, trying to fix up the infrastructure here. But unfortunately, at that meeting, a lot of them came up to me and said, Demetrius, this is a fantastic idea. You brought in somebody who knows what they're doing. They're bringing in partners. They have a timeline. They have a cost of this whole entire infrastructure story or project. But among everyone in the audience, the grand total of people from the Miami-Dade mayors and commissioners, the Miami Beach mayors and commissioners, and the Miami City, City of Miami commissioners and mayors, a total of zero were there. Zero mayors, zero commissioners, zero representatives of any kind. And you know what, disappointed a lot of them and that, that they, they saw that. A lot of millennials saw that and they, they saw why the infrastructure here in Miami-Dade County is, is infamous for, for being corrupt and for being not, not with the times. And I didn't have an answer to the questions asking them why weren't they here because we did send in emails, we did call, and we did send in letters. So I didn't have a reason or answer as to why they were not here. Now we did do some studies also too as well where we asked uh, residents of Miami-Dade County, we asked about 100 to 200 residents of Miami-Dade County and we asked them their opinions of uh, what their opinion was on the Miami Maglev. And to be quite fair, yes, the city of Miami and Miami Beach is trying to do something to fix our infamous infrastructure. They're trying to create something called the Bay Link, which has been in the talks for about 15, 10 years or so to connect Miami Beach to downtown. So, okay. So we did, a, we did a poll between that and we found out, we first asked respondents how satisfied were they with Miami-Dade County's infrastructure leadership and transportation leadership. 36% of respondents were very dissatisfied. 24% were, dis, were, were dissatisfied. So that's a total of 60% of the people we said were dissatisfied with Miami-Dade's leadership. Only 10% were somewhat satisfied or very satisfied. So it, it can, it, you can see that right there. And also, we did a test between the Maglev and the Bailing. 84% support the Maglev. Only 14% support the Bailing. So that's five times the amount of people that support the Ma Maglev over the Bailing. Now, we'd rather not that nobody's disappointed and nobody's uh, left out of any of this process. We want to bring like, this a process that not only the people of Miami are involved in, but of course we have to have the leaders of Miami-Dade, Miami-Dade County put into as well. So that is why we are giving everyone another chance with the second Miami Maglev Forum to be hosted at FIU on April 7th, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. in Academic Health Center 4, Conference Room 202. We're going to have the link in the description right here to where you can get more information, also an email so we're all the, the leaders can also be able to get in contact with and so nobody should be able to have a problem. And if you need to send a representative, you can also do that as well. Linked in the video, we also have the footage of the first Maglev forum and also contacts so you can be able to get it with my American Maglev technology. Again, we want to make this a process for everybody. We don't want anybody to be disappointed, especially the future citizens of Miami-Dade County. We hope to see you guys soon. To the future.